Yesterday, as most of you know, Ontario Parks came out with a big update for the 2023 camping season. That's right. That was October 17th, 2022, mm -hmm. yesterday. This might be a little controversial for some, but it's something that we've been advocating for for the last couple of years. So here it is. Starting in 2023 for the peak summer operating season, the maximum length of stay will be reduced from 23 nights to 7 or 14 nights at select parks. The changes to the campground camping maximum length of stay applies to all stays between July 1st and the Saturday of the Labor Day long weekend. There are no changes in the maximum length of stay for backcountry or roofed accommodations. So for the five most popular parks, which are Algonquin, Bon Echo, Kilbear, Sandbanks and Pinery, that means that from July 1st and the Saturday of the Labor Day weekend, you can only book a maximum of seven nights. No more 23 night reservations. For these 63 parks, you can only reserve a maximum of 14 nights between July 1st and Saturday of the Labor Day long weekend. And for these 16 parks, if there's no change in the reservation system. You can still book up to 23 nights. We'll post the full list in the description below. Ontario Parks made this change to allow more people to experience the more popular parks. Before this, a prime site at a popular park could be booked in just three reservations for the entire summer. With this change, that turns into nine reservations, so more people have the opportunity to experience the wonderful parks. To break this down a little more, for parks with a seven night maximum length of stay, Arrivals between June 15th and June 30 can book a maximum stay to the departure date of July 8th. So that means if you're making a reservation on June 15th, you can book the full 23 nights up to July 8th. If you're making the reservation on June 16th, you can only reserve 22 nights up to July 8th. And on June 17th, it's 21 nights. And that continues June 29th, 9 nights, June 30th, 8 nights, and July 1st, seven nights. And from then on, you can just reserve up to seven nights in a row for the rest of the summer until you get to the end of the summer. So on August 24th, you can reserve seven nights, August 25th, seven nights. But on August 26th, you can go back to reserving up to 23 nights. And it works the same way for parks with a 14 night maximum length of stay. Arrivals between June 22nd and June 30th can reserve a maximum stay to the departure date of July 15th and then you can only make reservations for a maximum of 14 nights. Then in August, on August 17th, you can reserve up to 14 nights. August 18th, 14 nights. August 19th, you can then go back to the maximum of 23 nights. Over the past few years, people have been taking advantage of the 23 night reservation. Uh, what they were doing is they were booking an entire 23 nights when really all they wanted was the last three nights, the last weekend of that reservation. And a month or so later, they would cancel the first 20 nights. Uh, this made it very difficult for people as everything was getting booked up. So people would go to the website exactly five months before they wanted to book a site. And really, all the sites should be open then, but there's no available sites at all. So they were completely shut out. Eventually, the sites would open up through cancellations, but it was very difficult to plan and you had to keep on checking the site for when there is an opening. I know there's a lot of controversy over this. A lot of people have their favorite parks. They've grown up going to this park with their family all their lives. Um, we used to be the same way, but then we decided it's time to experience more parks and we're glad we did. We've covered how many parks have we gone to now? Over 40. Over 40. And there's so many great parks out there. So maybe get out of your comfort zone and try something new. Or you can spend a week at your favorite park and maybe another week at another park. Please let us know in the comments below what you think about this. Is this a good change or a bad change? Also, what else do you think could be done to help make this reservation system fair? And if you'd like to see some more tips on how to reserve a campsite with Ontario Parks, check out this video right here. Mm -hmm.